Hi, you guys, welcome to part one of my Detox Your Life series. Um, this is gonna be a four part series because detoxing your life is so big and there's so much to it. And I know it can be a little bit overwhelming, but it's really exciting too. So um, I am a diamond wellness advocate with doTERRA, but this class is not just gonna be about um, the magic in these little brown bottles. As much as I love these, and these are a huge part of how we have detoxed our life, but I wanna talk about a few other things tonight too, and then the next three parts of this class too are gonna to go into some other things too. So tonight, I wanna to talk about um, detoxing the products that we clean our home with, um, just household products, mostly cleaning, but like all the household products that most people have in their home. So um, first off, I wanna tell you guys why I'm so passionate about detoxing your life. And that's because four years ago, I was not this happy, healthy person that those of you who know me know that I am today. And so something changed in my life that um, a lot of you can probably relate to. I got pregnant. And as soon as I got pregnant, I was like, wow, I want to be the best version of me. I want to be healthy, happy. I want to do everything I can to be the best for this baby, right? And so I love research and I'm not a um, just follow the crowd kind of person. So I started researching things um, and wanted to make my own educated decisions on what I should do to be the healthiest version of me. And I guess I have always been a sem somewhat holistic person, not necessarily in the way of like a lot of natural remedies and things, but I was definitely like a hands off. I'm always a hands off person, like not very much medication, nothing like that. Um, but like something like household products, I had no clue about that. And that was actually one of the last things that I got to when I started detoxing my life. <laughs> the last two things were like the personal care products, which I'm going to do a whole d deal on that. And then the cleaning products, probably because I hate to clean. <laughs> but whether you hate to clean or love to clean, you're going to love learning how to do it in the most safe, responsible, effective, affordable way for yourself and your family and the environment, like everything to do with being healthy. It's not just about you. It's about everyone else and how we all affect um, each other. So obviously there's chemicals and everything everywhere around us in the world and toxins and all kinds of things. And we can't eliminate all of them as much as we would love to. But because they're everywhere, I think that it's our job to eliminate as many as we can, especially the ones that are just within our home. Which for me, this is a RV, but it's still my home. So, um, so I just want to start with that. So, so why? Let's start with why. Why do we want to detox our home from the household cleaners that we use? Okay, they work. They're pretty cheap, most of them. Um, what's wrong with them? Well, for me, one thing was I was about to have a baby, and I hated the idea of having to like childproof my whole house, anyways. So I was like, "Why are all these chemicals?" I didn't realize even chemicals. You know, I'm an ag person, so I understand chemicals. But I was like, "Why are all these whatever products like so dangerous?" You know, not only do I have to like use gloves when I clean with some of them, but I have to make sure that that like cabinet that they're in or wherever they are is up high, locked up far away from the baby, right? So I was like, I have to figure this out, you know? Um, and there's a lot of other things that I'm gonna talk about too, symptoms that I was having from being exposed to these all my life, but I had no clue they were symptoms. Like I had just gotten used to them and accustomed to them. And same thing with my husband, when we started eliminating things and these symptoms that we've been living with and dealing with for years went away, then we were like, whoa. But I actually didn't look at it first off because of symptoms, and so many people do because of symptoms. I mainly looked at it because of the baby, right? So I was looking at chemicals on them and what they're about and what they cause and why, you know. So I just want to tell you guys a few of them, okay? So I don't have like all the names and craziness down, like I'm not a scientist by no means, but thank God there's some really amazing resources out there now for people like me who are not some you know chemist scientist person but want to know why are these bad or why are they not bad or you know what what is okay to use so a couple of those resources are ewg um and i love the ewg site um there's also an ewg app and it's called like healthy living ewg if you search in the app store 
And then there's also an app called Think Dirty that a lot of people like. And you can actually like go through and scan or look up the products that you're using and look up what they have in them, what um, those, those different ingredients, like what are the side effects or issues or harms, you know, associated with them. So um, one of the big ones is fragrance, okay? So a lot of people know fragrance is bad, and that's becoming more wild, widely known, thank God. Um, four years ago when I heard that, I had no idea that, I guess I probably knew fragrance was like um, synthetic, like it's not the same as smelling a flower to like use perfume or something like that. But fragrances are in almost every single household cleaner because what do we love? We love our house to smell clean. And so fragrances are chemicals. And actually, the um, makers of most products, they don't have to actually release all the details of what, you know, is made up in each fragrance. When they put the word fragrance, it's really a loose ingredient, which is scary. So, um, and it's, it's awful because it's like not banned. It's not researched widely enough. And in so many other countries, they are banned. So that was eye opening to me too, to see, wow, okay, why are other can't countries banning these things and, you know, coming out with studies, linking them to all kinds of awful diseases. But in the U S we haven't quite gotten there yet. We're getting better. Thank God. And so that's why I'm so, so passionate about this. So, um, so fragrance, you guys, some of the big things in fragrance are, I'm going to totally butcher the word, but um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to butcher. I'm not even going to try it. It's like P-H-L-A-T-E-S, phylates. Somebody may know how to say that right, okay? The big problem with those, um, similar to parabens, like in products that we put on our skin, parabens are similar, okay? The, same, the big problem with that is how they affect your hormones, which as women especially is really, really scary. And if you look at like – how the statistics have changed in terms of people with all kinds of serious diseases. I mean, we hear cancer dropped all the time, right? Like so many more people have, have crazy diseases now than they did in the past, right? And another really, really common thing now is hormone things. You hear people with thyroid. There's tons of infertility. Those of you who know me know that infertility is like very near and dear to my heart and part of my ministry. And, and that is one of the reasons why I started researching this so intensively because it really, I'm going to talk more about this on a different one too, but it really all links back to things like this, which is awful. Okay. So, um, so fragrance is a chemical you guys and, and all kinds of different chemicals, like thousands of chemicals and each fragrance listing on a bottle. Okay. So we have to learn to start looking at labels, even though they're scary and you see labels and the ingredient list is this long, we can start learning to look for certain things. And one of the things that we can look for on labels is fragrance. Fragrance is bad, bad, bad. Okay. So here's why hormones. Like I said, another thing about fragrance, um, is allergies, asthma, like just dizziness, um, brain fog, infertility, like I said, all those things kind of can relate to hormones, but this does not just affect women. Um, it affects women a ton, but it affects men too, okay, which is crazy, scary, and obviously kids, like anybody that's coming in contact with this, and so a lot of people think, well, I'm not eating it. I'm not putting it in my body. So it's okay, right? But you are putting it in your body because if you use a household cleaner and you even breathe in the aroma, it's in your body, okay? If you touch it, if I, that's why, you know, so many of them say use gloves. If you touch it, it absorbs right into your bloodstream and your skin. So it's just as dangerous, maybe worse, because usually you're not in a well ventilated area, you're in your home, like, closed in. If you're like me, you're in 400 square feet and it's not very well ventilated and you're breathing in chemicals. Okay. And a lot of times you're getting them on you even like, or some of the things that we use that we clean our home with, or we clean our dishes with, um, are awful. And then actually from our dishes, they're getting in us. So there's so many ways that they're getting on in whatever you want to call it into our bodies. Okay. And that is messing things up for us hugely. So one of the things that I suffered from for a long time was headaches, which is directly correlated with fragrance and tons of chemicals that are in fragrances. And, and, um, the hormone imbalance was the second thing that I struggled with for all my life, pretty much since I started having a period in middle school or whatever, until I started researching this and started eliminating things like this from my life. I had headaches, I had hormone imbalance, I had like brain fog, dizziness, um, 
all kinds of weird things that I just thought were life for me. And so um, when I started researching this and all these studies have been done and all these links to that, I was like, well, it can't hurt to just eliminate them, right? And this was even before I really got into essential oils. So I started going, okay, I can clean my house with pretty much vinegar and baking soda and do a decent job. And you really can. Um, having essential oils just provides an added bonus to the antibacterial and antiviral properties that are in our essential oils. And also it makes it smell good without fragrance. Hallelujah, right? So, um, so as I eliminated these things, I noticed a difference like within just a month and then after a few months it was like no more headaches like amazing what changed for me my husband a big one was asthma all of his life asthma allergies really bad allergies now I won't say that his allergies are all gone because he is truly allergic to like pollen you know and things like that but his allergies are like way way better than they were because he's not allergic to the things that were like we were putting in the carpet and putting on our sheets and things that he was exposing himself to all day long. He was probably allergic to as well because they're chemicals. Our bodies are smart and our bodies reject these things. So if you're having headaches, if you're having dizziness, if you're having brain fog, if you have hormone issues, if you have any of these things, infertility, if this resonates with you, this is your body's way of saying, please stop exposing me to toxins. <laughs> okay. And it's okay. We've all been there. There's no shame in it. That's why we're sh I'm sharing this though, because this is such an important topic because it relates to everything in our life to be able to get rid of toxins. Okay. So, um, some of the other big things is liver and kidney dam damage. Now that's crazy to me. Uh, lung issues, obviously asthma allergies, but like, um, huge serious issues, like all kinds of diseases are linked to these chemicals that we can use all the time. Like just it's okay. Buy it on a shelf, you know, awful. And so I started just, like I said, eliminating them. Another thing was candles, like, because I love, love, love smells. So candles, I researched candles and candles, of course, almost every single one of them contains fragrance. There are a few companies that make candles with essential oils. And I will tell you that you cannot trust every single essential oil. I actually started using essential oils, a, an off brand, brand um, essential oil from the health food store. I started using those essential oils when I first started doing this kind of wanting to do some more like do it yourself stuff and eliminate toxins. I started using those essential oils because if you start getting on the internet and searching for green cleaning recipes, you'll find a lot of them contain essential oils. But What's so sad is that then as I did my research about essential oils, I found out that they're not regulated either. Just like the progress the products all over the shelves in the cleaning aisle, um, essential oils can have fragrance too, even though they're called an essential oil. The, the, the FDA looks at them just like perfume, which is just chemicals, nothing but chemicals. Okay. So, so sad. So uh, then I was introduced to doTERRA by one of my best friends and also by my chiropractor. So two people who are very credible sources to me. And then I still did tons and tons of research. And after my research, I found out that doTERRA is the only company out there that is doing what's called, what they have called certified pure therapeutic grade. And that's where they have created a standard because there isn't one in this industry for essential oils to be safe, to be 100% pure only from a plant, right? And that's the kind of fragrance, natural fragrance, God-given fragrance that I wanted to add to my cleaning regime. And then as I learned more about these essential oils, I found out that these essential oils also have tons of antibacterial and even antiviral properties. So of course, that's what I want to spray my table with, right? Um, so one of the big ones that is like that is on guard and I love on guard. My husband is a germaphobe and now that we have two kids, this is probably his favorite oil because this oil not only gets rid of all the stickiness and everything cleaning the house, but it keeps killing germs for up to six hours when it's applied to a surface. Pretty cool. Okay. So even though baking soda and vinegar are great too, um, this is a powerhouse. This is amazing. And even just diffusing it, see, I have my diffuser here, you guys. I can't put it right in front of me because then it's like smoke in my face, but it's kind of cool. Um, I like just even diffusing on guard, it's getting all over your home, it's killing germs, and it's getting on surfaces and killing germs. And um, 
microbiologists and chemists and all kinds of amazing people have done research on on guard and proven that it kills more bacteria than things like Clorox and um, hand sanitizers and hand soaps and things that are full of toxic chemicals okay so super super exciting so the first product that I want to talk to you guys about that I use probably all over my house <laughs> is a doTERRA product and I do mix it with a couple other things and um, I am going to just briefly go through some of the things I use so I'm not going to give you like exact recipes because I am um, working on a ebook um, right now that's gonna have all my recipes and everyone's gonna have access to it so check back for that there's also lots and lots of recipes on this live essential oil class group so this is the first product this is the on guard concentrate cleaner you guys can see this it um it is amazing you can tell i like it i use it we use it a lot <laughs> um, there's not very much left in it but this is like multi-purpose it's very concentrated which is so cool and literally the ingredients that you get in here are plant-based are safe um, none of our products are harmful to the environment none of them are tested on animals um nothing bad in here okay so that's super important to me. And then the added bonus is that this already has on guard in it, the essential oil I was talking about, that kills germs, that is an amazing antibacterial and even antiviral essential oil. And it smells really good. It smells like cinnamon, wild orange, cloves, so it kind of smells like fall, Christmas, what have you. It smells very clean in your house. A lot of people think of like citrus oils with cleaners, and so I love that you get that citrusy smell when you're cleaning your house too, and it's a natural citrusy smell. So, um, so this one I literally use for everything. If you look on the side of the bottle, it tells you like how actually to use it for everything, but you can literally, um, wipe down countertops with this. I like to mix it with some water and put it in a spray bottle. Um, and I spray down countertops. Like I said, this can be used to degrease, to clean your oven, to clean your <laughs> sink. You can mop your floors with it. You can do your dishes with it. Um, you can even clean your bathroom with it. Okay. So pretty much everything. This is $14, so I also want to tell you what's so cool is that um, doTERRA's cleaning products are actually cheaper than most of the poison that you can buy on the shelf at Walmart. So um, you can make, I think, 20 bottles of spray with this, 20, okay? And if you buy one, like 409, 409 is what I used to use, and I used to buy it in bulk at Costco. And even compared to buying it in bulk at Costco, this is cheaper for all-purpose cleaner. It smells good too because 409 didn't smell good and 409 has all kinds of bad ingredients in it okay so even some of the more natural green cleaners that are being put on shelves now because people are becoming aware of this even those they may not have tons of chemicals in them but they almost always have a fragrance in it that's why I said one of the biggest things I want you guys to learn to look for on labels is the word fragrance and even if it says essential oils scary because they're not really essential oils like almost always and if they are essential oils they're diluted or mixed with fillers or preservatives and just it's just not worth it trust me so don't <laughs> don't fall for it okay so the next thing I want to talk to you about is our hand soap which is kind of similar which is on guard as well so I love this because of course we're washing our hands this time of the year which we're getting into spring but still it's like it's flu season, right? And you hear all these crazy flu stuff and you guys already know I'm anti the flu shot. So of course, um, I want to do everything we can to prevent the flu. I mean, I still go to Walmart. There's some things that I do need from them <laughs> occasionally. So I do still go places that are like germ ridden and it's scary. So I use the hand soap all the time. We have a hand sanitizer, but I think it's, I forgot to grab that and show you guys, but we have a tiny little hand sanitizer too. That's like a spray with on guard and washing your hands is the best way to stay healthy, right? That's what everybody says. And so what's so sad is that all those antibacterial hand soaps that you see that say kill 99.9% .9 of germs, all of those have awful, dangerous chemicals in them and fragrances in them. And they kill the good bacteria on your hands. So I know this sounds weird, but there's actually good bacteria that you need. Just like we talk about like probiotics for our stomach. We need, we need healthy, good bacteria. Not bad bacteria, but good bacteria. So when you kill all the good bacteria, that actually helps prevent germs. <laughs> so um, you don't want to kill the good bacteria. And you do. When you use something like alcohol or um, and it burns and it dries your hands out, like, I never liked it anyways. So I love that I can use on guard and literally for a sanit sanitizer, you don't even have to buy doTERRA's. They have one pre-made, but you can just use 
on guard. You can just mix them on guard with water or even like coconut oil if you really want it to moisturize your hands. And you can spray them anytime, anywhere. And I do that and I spray the, like the grocery cart and I spray the table when we go out to eat and all that, especially in flu season. And in the last four years, we have not had the flu. We have not had the stomach flu. We have not had any kind of anything, nothing. And that's like amazing because we're really not sheltered. We actually travel around people and sick people all the time. I actually deliver on guard to sick people on a regular basis during flu season. So that alone is a huge testament of how powerful that is, okay? So that's another one of my favorite ones. So I also wanna to talk to you guys about um, bathroom a little bit more because I did talk about the all-purpose cleaner being really good and you can use it in your bathroom. But one thing for bathrooms is mold. A lot of people like want something that kills mold, okay? Well, so cool, we have an essential oil that kills mold. Um, it is tea tree oil, or melaleuca is what doTERRA calls it, which is like the scientific official name for it. And this literally kills mold. Um, if you have mold in your house, like I live in an RV, mold is sometimes an issue or like a fear of RVers. Um, you can even just be diffusing melaleuca to like be killing mold. If you're worried that there's mold and you're breathing it in, mold is obviously really bad. Um, so melaleuca is amazing, strong anti-mold. And then what I like to do is I mix melaleuca with, um, you can even just mix it with some water and like in a spray bottle, like I was talking about the all-purpose cleaner, and you can spray places in your bathtub. You don't even have to like scrub it because it'll just kill mold, it's awesome. But if you want to have like a scrub for your bathtub or your toilet or whatever, I mix baking soda with melaleuca. So easy, so affordable and all natural, right? So that's a great way. You can also um, use an essential oil like lavender that smells really good as well. Tea tree oil isn't a bad smell, but lavender is also really antibacterial. Melaleuca is antibacterial, but also very like anti-mold. So I like to sometimes mix lavender with it so it smells good and you can use this like bathroom freshener type thing. Um, and um, we also have a blend I'm going to talk a little bit more about in a minute called Purify. And this is our cleansing blend, which has melaleuca in it. So I use this a lot of the times too, like um, in the bathroom, anywhere, to get rid of odors. This is amazing for getting rid of odors and being antibacterial, antiviral, anti-mold, all that. So a couple other choices for the bathroom. Um, and literally, that's all you have to do to clean your bathroom. The other thing I do is I make a window cleaner with um, just water, <laughs> sometimes like half water, half vinegar. I don't like the vinegar smell, but if you add vinegar, it's even more beneficial, but like windows, mirrors, things like that, glass, um, water, and lemon oil. Lemon oil is fantastic for like getting off sticky, getting off grime. It's also really good for degreasing. It's a great stain remover. So you have to, if you have crazy kids like me and they draw on the walls sometimes, it will even take off a permanent marker. So lemon oil, amazing. And of course, lemon makes us all think of clean. It smells super clean. It's one of the most affordable essential oils that we have. It's only $10 for a bottle with 250 drops in it which will last you a long time because if you're using a pure essential oil like doTERRA, you only need a few drops at a time. In a big bottle like this, I might put um, 25 drops of um, lemon and um, sometimes I use straight up lemon like when I'm trying to just like get off like sticky residue or degrease my oven or something like that. So I'm going to share all these recipes. Like I said, they're going to be in the ebook and some of them are in this group already. So um, that's pretty much bathroom. That's pretty much kitchen. And I do use this as dish soap for hand wash, but for the kitchen, I also have a um, dish tab recipe, which is so easy to make and so cheap. It comes out to being like 40 cents a dish tab. So way cheaper than the little toxic, toxic dish tabs that you can buy from whatever, right? So, and they work just like that. I just make it um, with um, baking soda, borax, I believe it is, which you can get like on any cleaning aisle pretty much but um, borax is kind of like baking soda it's like a natural it's fine to use citric acid is really good too um, so there's a couple other things you can you can pick up anywhere even Amazon or whatever but they really really help um, with something like lemon or on guard to clean dishes and if you add lemon in there it even will um, like make them shiny like if you have glasses in there it gets rid of the cloudy residue depending on what kind of water you have if you have that kind of residue so that dish tab recipe is great too and i will have that posted in here as well or in the ebook so moving on to like laundry the other thing that we clean with um 
doTERRA does have their own laundry detergent, which I love, and it's on guard. So all natural, plant-based, super gentle, like for newborns and things like that. My kids have really sensitive skin. So I love this. It's always been really good, and it leaves them smelling fresh and clean like on guard. Um, you can also make your own. You can also use like tree nuts uh, or soap nuts. Sorry. Soap nuts. Have anybody ever, ever heard of that? They're pretty cool, and they are like just a um, a nut from like a – they are from a tree. But anyways, they're called soap nuts, and you can even use that. You can make your own laundry detergent. I made my own for a while, and I found that it kind of left a residue. I did cloth diapers and things, and so I couldn't use that. But I could use um, the On Guard with my cloth diapers, and it was great. So um, laundry detergent. And once again, this is the same price as Tide. So why go buy Tide full of chemicals when you could buy something like this that's natural, that's safe, that's gentle on your kid's skin? And how antibacterial and antiviral it is, it's killing all the germs that are in all of our clothes and things like that too. Um, Another thing is dryer sheets are something that people use a lot or like fabric softener. So if you want fabric softener in your wash, you can use a little bit of vinegar and add an essential oil like lavender because it smells really fresh, which is lavender is the like fake fragrance that you probably see in most of the, uh, the fabric softeners or dryer sheets anyway. So why not use real lavender? Ours is from France and it smells fantastic. Um, the other thing I like to use in my laundry is Purify the cleansing blend that I was telling you guys about because the Purify um, really helps with odor. Like it's amazing for odors if you have any clothes that are stinky um, or if you're like washing pet things like I do sometimes like dog beds and stuff. It's awesome. So, um, and, and then um, the other thing is the, instead of dryer sheets, you can use wool dryer balls, which I love these. Um, and they're just, if they're 100% wool, you can buy these several places. One of the companies that I bought them for, from before is Norwex. And I buy cleaning rags from Norwex too because they have really good um, like cleaning cloths that I can use with my essential oils so, and all my DIY cleaners. So dryer balls, so cool. Way cheaper because you buy this and this is all you have to use over and over again. You don't keep buying dryer sheets, which are full of toxins and fragrance that you're putting on your clothes. So most of the time when people have allergies and asthma and stuff, it's because those fragrances are on your clothes and you're breathing them in all day and they're touching your skin and you have skin issues. Skin conditions is another thing I didn't list in the beginning that can be a side effect of all these chemicals because they get on your clothes, they get on your skin, they do, even if they're just in the air, it's awful. So eliminate dryer sheets and start using dryer balls, wool dryer balls. And then what you do is each wash, you just put a couple drops of an essential oil you like. Once again, you can do lavender. Um, I like to do purify a lot of the time too, depending on if I want them to smell what I want them to smell like. And just a couple drops on the ball and you throw it in the dryer. It's amazing. So that's pretty much like, that's pretty much all the different cleaning type things I use. And then I talked about candles in the beginning. I love smells. So of course now I diffuse. So I'm getting beautiful smells. Um, I only have to have a few drops of essential oil in here at a time. It's kind of like a cool mist humidifier. Um, this is doTERRA's Luma Diffu Lumo diffuser, which is one of my favorites. It'll last for 10 hours, um, changes colors. It's all pretty. So anyways, this is a great, great way to replace a candle is to use a diffuser. Okay. But you can also make a air freshener because the other thing that I used to use all the time was for breeze or whatever, you know? And so the other thing I do is I just take little spray bottles like this and I make different little blends of whatever I want it to smell like. Um, like this is an autumn one still. I need to change it to a spring one with flowers or whatever. But, and then you can just spray just water and like 15 drops of essential oil, which is so cheap, which is way cheaper than Febreze. And you're not spraying chemicals and disgustingness onto things. And I've even seen like Febreze now is trying to say they have an essential oil spray. Once again, you guys don't forget, don't trust everything they say, because I guarantee it's, they're trying to say it's essential oils, but it's a fragrance. So there's not, there's nothing that compares, right? And it's so much cheaper to just make it yourself. So water and whatever essential oil you want it to smell like. I have one of these in the bathroom so you can make the bathroom smell good. I have these all around. So in case I just want an area to smell clean, it's also killing germs. Pretty much almost every essential oil there is has some antibacterial properties to it. But you can definitely choose ones that have more depending on what you want. You can make it smell however you want. So it's fantastic. And you will notice as you start eliminating these things um, that have toxins in them from your household and replacing them with do-it-yourself things and essential oils, 
you will notice that if you have any of those symptoms like I did, they go away. And that's because your body is saying, thank you. <laughs> thank you for not exposing me to this anymore. Because think about it. You're exposed all day, everywhere. You go into a restaurant, you're exposed to toxins because you know that you go into public restrooms they have awful like I still use hand soap that's bad sometimes you know like I always have my on guard hand sanitizer but I still have to sometimes and then I still you know have to walk near um, fragrances when I'm in grocery stores or different stores like people with candles all kinds of things and I instantly notice like one place I instantly notice it is the, the cleaning aisles now I can't even get close to them at the grocery store or I'll almost start to get a headache. Like it's like my body goes, no, don't do that to me again. Um, or like perfume aisles. Like if you're in a mall and you start to go into one of those department stores where it's all perfume, I instantly am like, whoa. And then yeah, headache, brain fog. It's crazy. So how crazy is that, that your body knows that it's like, okay, you've eliminated all this stuff. And if you start to bring it back, it's like, there it is. And then I didn't have a headache every single day of my life, but I had bad migraines a lot and hormone imbalance and brain fog and all those things. And I had no clue that all I had to do was eliminate these toxins and that would go away. And what's so sad, like I said, is things like infertility, like things like that, that people's hormones have been disrupted by these things. And how amazing if every woman, if we're able to share with every woman we know and she stops using these types of things and we don't have to hear all the time about things like miscarriages and people not being able to conceive and people with thyroid issues and just awful, awful things you guys know that, like I said, are really near and dear to my heart, which is one of the main reasons I want to do this is so that people can be aware of that. And, you know, not that there's any, like I said, condemnation or shame or anything that you're using these things because I used these things. I use these things you know, not that long ago. Okay. And I've learned, and not only have I gotten to make myself healthier, but my family is healthy. My family is safe. My kids can clean with all this stuff. That's fantastic. So that's like part of their chores. It's not like locked away and scared. They can't touch anything that we clean with. It's like they get to be a part of it and they get to clean their own messes. And it's okay if they lick it at the same time because they're toddlers, you know, that's fantastic. Once again, so that's huge to me. That's worth a lot. And then just seeing, you know, the difference in myself and my husband and things that, like I said, we thought we would always have headaches. We thought we'd always have asthma and allergies and we don't anymore. And the other thing is that those things even affect your immune system. They, they can be the reason that you get sick, even though you may be using Clorox to try to prevent sickness, you know, it actually makes you sick. That's what's so sad about it. And so I just, I want to start with this one because I feel like this one's huge. And like I said in the beginning, make sure that you um, get on something like ewg.org and I will type that in here and start looking at the products you're using and what's in them and why or why not they're good. It will rate them from like a one to a 10, 10 being the worst. And I literally have gone down, down aisles, which is what, what sparked my interest in doing this series. So many people were asking me to do this series on detoxing because I had gone down some aisles and I had taken pictures of bottles that I used my app, my EWG app and showed like they were all tens and they were things that people not only clean their house with, but things that people put in their mouths and <laughs> like mouthwash and deodorant. And we're going to get into all of those topics later, but I just wanted to start with this one. Cause like I said, I feel like this is huge. And so this is a really good place to start. And um, we'll get into, like I said, the other three, I'm going to touch on um, personal care, like beauty products, skincare products, um, hygiene products, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to talk about detoxing your gut and talk about healthy from the inside out a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to talk about some of the topics that I'm really, really passionate about, about like your overall, like your emotions and even like, like I said, some more stuff about infertility and things like that. So I hope you guys will join me for the other detox series and I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I've seen some of you guys commenting, but um, thank you again for joining me and watch for that ebook for sure.